feel naked. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today we are playing around with the Momo Mitchell palette again. Uh, one of you guys said that you did want me to do an autumnal look so here I is to win a folios. <laughs> I, it's very late at night right now so me stringing sentences together is very hard. <laughs> I was considering doing like a really technical eye and trying like different cut creases and making it crazy but when sitting down and just playing with the colours I just wanted to do a really multi-tonal smoky kind of eye and I think that's what I got. <laughs> I also go through my base makeup and I tried a few new techniques in this video so if you are just now clicking on this video I know not a lot of people watch tutorials anymore so I really appreciate it that you decided to click on my video. Feel free to subscribe and join along in the little community. All you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button and then you'll just get notified of my uploads. I have a part two of my declutter coming soon as well. I was thinking about maybe uploading them like once a week. But also I have two other foundation reviews that I've filmed but I don't want it to be like repetitive because I've done like two other foundation reviews recently but so many companies are dropping foundations and I just want to try them all. <laughs> NYX have just dropped one as well that I bought and I just can't so yeah, there are a lot of things coming on this channel, so keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Without further ado, if you want to see this eye look and face makeup, just uh, keep on watching. Okay, so this is the kind of look I'm going for. It kind of reminds me of a maple leaf, <laughs> which is the kind of vibe, you know, autumnal colours and all. I'm just going to quickly prime my eyelids. And to do this, I'm just going to use my Essential High Coverage Concealer from Jouer. I would usually use my P. Louise base, but because I really want a blended, soft look, and I'm not really worried about pigment or anything like that, I just go in with my concealer. Because this picks up the pigment, but it still blends really nicely. I'm just going to pat this out with my dirty ass concealer brush. <laughs> I've been doing a few more looks on my Instagram recently so I've been using this a lot more and yeah I just can't be bothered to clean it. <laughs> uh, clean your brushes folks don't be like me. <laughs> okay so first color I'm going in with is Man Made which is just like a warm tone brown and I'm taking it on this dense brush. This came in a BH cosmetic set and it's a number three brush if that means anything. I'll like put the set down in the description box for you guys so you can check it out. I'm just gonna start placing this on my outer corner and then work it throughout the crease a little, bringing it to about halfway across my eye. Now I'm taking this little Beauty Bay blender brush, it's the round the blend brush, and I'm taking the colour Meh from the palette and I've just placed it on the side of my brush here and I'm gonna tap off a lot of the excess and I'm just gonna start blending around the edges here. Now that is down, I'm going into the shade Mixer, which to be honest is probably one of my favourite shades in this whole entire palette. I love this mustardy shade so much. And I'm just going to blend out the shade Met a little more and bring that warmth back a little bit. With this shade, it is very pigmented, so I literally just dab the brush in just slightly and then tap off a lot of the excess. That way you can really control the colour and you can really build it and blend it. I just went back in with the Man Made shade and just kind of built it up a little bit more. Now I'm going to take it slightly further across the lid to about the halfway mark. And I'm just kind of blending it across the lid with very minimal product so I get a nice gradient started before I add the yellow tones on top. Now I'm going to go back into that mixture shade. I'm just taking it on the same fluffy brush that we've used and I'm just going to start packing this on the actual main lid and blending it into the man-made colour. Because I really wanted this to be soft and blended, I started off on the bare skin and then I just blended it into that colour to really fade it in and it looks so pretty. I love it. Okay, next colour. <laughs> then I've gone into the yellow shade which is called Manchester and same big fluffy brush and I've just gone on the inner corner. Really soft, blended it into the mixer shade. Again, same story with that yellow. I start off on the bare skin and blended it into the mixer shade. I really love the way the tones have all worked together and it looks so autumnal. I think this is one of my favourite looks I've ever created and I've created quite a few looks. <laughs> I am going to add an inner corner highlight but I don't do all matte over the lid, okay? I've got to add shimmer usually somewhere. I never do just matte. So I'm quite impressed with myself that I really like this look. Okay, 
I've also just taken the shade Monday and just applied it kind of like a liner but then I've smoked it out with my brush and just blended it in so again just adds a little bit of depth but it's not taking over the look. Now I'm just going to take a brown eyeliner pencil. This is by Revolution Pro. It is the Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in the shade brown and I'm just going to tight line real quick. Now usually this is where I would go away and do my foundation and everything like that but I'm just going to go and continue doing on the eyes. I'm just going to place my concealer down and we're going to crack on. Just using the same concealer by the way on my under eye and I'm just going to do the same and pat this out with my concealer brush. I'm probably going to end up adding more of like a brightening concealer afterwards because once I've got my foundation on this looks too dark so Okay, so first off I'm going in with the shade Macaroni, which is kind of like a weird greeny mustardy shade. <laughs> and I'm just using this as like a transition. And I'm using this little Morphe brush, which is the M562 brush. And then I've gone into the shade Mardi, which is a deep forest green. And I've taken it on a angled brush and I'm just lining the lash line. But then just blending it out with my blending brush, not adding any extra products, just blending and blending and blending. <laughs> Now I'm just going to line my lash line and I'm going to blend it out with the same angled brush. No extra product on it, just going to blend it into that green. Now for inner corner highlights, I'm going to go in with the shade Muffin first of all. And then because I wanted more of those kind of warm golden tones added in, I went in with the shade Melted with a very light hand and just dabbed it over the top and it looks so pretty. I loved it. Just added that into my inner tear duct and also the inner third of my eye and it just really brightens the look. I really love it. And now I'm just going to throw a little bit of mascara on. I'm using the Bambi Eye False Lash by L'Oreal. Burn the sash and break the seal. No, that's not me. I'll never be wrong queen. No. Who else has watched the first episode of Shane Dawson's new series? I'm hooked already. I've watched Shane since like the beginning, like the Shanae days, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then <laughs> it was a weird time of YouTube, but uh, but yeah, I've had the song from the trailer stuck in my head. I watched it like twice and I just, just really like the song. It's called Prom Queen by a girl called Katie something. I can't quite remember her name, but I just keep singing it over and over again. my lash is on. These are Tatty lashes. They're in the shade T... shade? <laughs> They're in the style TL4, I think? No, sorry, TL6. I did not realise these were make lashes when I bought them, but I do like the style and I wanted to use them. I'm just not going to purchase any more from them unless it's a synthetic style but yeah they're really pretty and fluffy so it's a shame these are the finished eyes i'm just gonna quickly do my other brow because i've already done this one i'm doing the soap trick again with my spoolie i'm just gonna lay these puppies down one of you guys said that soap brows really doesn't work for you and um one tip is to really put your spoolie in there um so you get like a paste almost because i was just using kind of like the froth <laughs> from the soap for a while and it really wasn't getting anywhere but you've really got to kind of build the product up and then put it through your brows and it just like sticks them down so hopefully that'll work for you if not I'm sorry <laughs> I tried I tried to help okay <laughs> now to kind of like fill in the gaps and make my brow a little bit thicker I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline brow precise pencil it's like the little like micro pencil and this is in the shade I wish I knew it's in the shade deep brown okay I I think that's as good as it's getting for my brows. They're not behaving and they don't look even whatsoever. But you know what? Let's just move into the face so we can finish off this look. <laughs> okay, so primer, I'm gonna use my Origins Pore Perfecting Primer. I just pump out a little bit on my hand and then just apply it with my fingers. To get rid of my pores, I just kind of press it in. I know I've already got concealer on, but we are going to probably add some more. <laughs> now I'm primed, I really wanna do like a matte base so I'm going to go in with the can you guess it I'll give you a thousand points if you can guess what foundation I'm going in with <laughs> the makeup revolution conceal and define I can't stop using this <laughs> I'm going to go in with my conceal and define foundation okay and let's blend this out I'm actually using a smaller brush than usual this is the contour queen brush by beauty bay I just want to experiment with using different brushes for different purposes so I am <laughs> so far 
blend out quite nicely. I've been currently obsessing and back to back watching a girl here on YouTube called Bailey Sarian. Maybe you've heard of her. She does makeup videos, but the ones that I've been watching like back to back is her Murder Mystery and Makeup Monday. <laughs> so much alliteration. I personally am very interested in true crime. Just obsessed with more watching YouTube videos on true crime. I don't think I have the stomach to actually research it myself. It was actually something I was thinking about like branching out into but honestly I don't think I can stomach seeing like disturbing images if you know what I mean which are out there on the internet so I think I'll just stick to the PG YouTube videos. <laughs> but yeah, I've been loving watching her stuff. It's so interesting and she's like, I don't know, she's got a cool personality. God, it is nice to have like control over products, but my God, my wrist is already hurting. <laughs> Blended out all this stuff in such small motions, like ow. I need to get back to the gym, clearly. <laughs> I don't know. I just find those videos interesting. And we are in spooky season, so if you need somebody to watch and you like true crime, maybe go check out her channel. I'll leave it in the description box for you guys. You know, I wish I was like one of those organized people who like had like the Halloween videos like pre-filmed and stuff. I don't. <laughs> I just have a list of ideas that I really want to do, but uh, I haven't got around to doing any of them yet. But hopefully <laughs> I will have a video for you guys soon. If you have any ideas or if you have any requests of any Halloween looks that you want me to do, feel free to leave a comment and let me know and I'll see if I can make it happen for you guys. Because I have my own ideas but I don't know if anyone's interested in my ideas so let a girl know. Because I'm just honestly playing around with makeup right now, I want to do a little bit of like a cream bronze or contour. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Tan Walnut and I'm going to kind of use it to add a little bit of shadow because it's not terribly dark as you can see just as a little something such a pretty shade for like a natural bronze for me i really like this color just like a touch just a little dab you know it's cute or whatever i feel like i added a bit much on the side so i'm just taking it underneath my jawline <laughs> i forget how pigmented this freaking concealer is <laughs> okay and for something a little bit more extreme in the chiseled area i'm gonna go in with this cyo contour stick i'm pretty sure this is in the shade fair okay so it's just had a, a little bit something extra and not a lot just gonna try and do a little bit with my nose with the camo concealer by elf this may be a really bad idea but we shall see i don't have a different blending brush to hand uh so i'm just gonna use this one so wish me luck and <laughs> pray for me because this is a little big to be doing nose contour <laughs> It could have been worse. It could have been worse. <laughs> I want to do a little bit of highlight and then add some blush, possibly. Uh, what highlight do I want to use? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a little Ofra moment. I'm going to use the Star Island highlight, which is a gold moment. I think it's going to go nicely with this look. And I'm going to use the Morphe M451 brush. That is so pretty. I love this highlighter so much. And I always forget. <laughs> I forgot to powder my face by the way, which is just great. <laughs> I do actually need to add a little bit more concealer. Um, I'm gonna go in with Elf Camo Concealer in the shade Light Sand, and if I need any more brightening, I'm gonna go into the shade Fair Warm. I'm gonna do a little boop and a little boop and blend that out. <laughs> I feel like maybe my eyes back here are a little bit dark and a little bit yellow, so I'm gonna go in with Fair Warm. Just add like the smidgen amount, and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand so I don't use too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of setting powder. This is the Jeffree Star Magic Powder, and I'm going in on a Spectrum B08 brush. I'm just gonna kind of set the places that I wanna like blur out. So underneath my eyes, four areas. <laughs> Feeling it now, I quite like my skin now. Wasn't liking it at first, but it's okay. When I applied my concealer, I've kind of lost a bit of the macaroni color, so I'm just gonna quickly go in and blend that out a little bit. Okay, now it's time for blush, and I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Honest from the Mitchell palettes, and I'm gonna take it on the same brush, and I'm just gonna pat off some of the pigment onto my palm so it's not too crazy. And then I'm just gonna go in and blush up these cheeks a little. 
Because that color is so subtle, I am going to add a little bit of a peachy pop to my cheeks. And I'm going to go in with a shade called Mr. H, again, tapping off the excess on my hand. And I'm just lightly dusting on a little bit of the pigment on my apples, and then just blending it towards my nose and slightly around the cheek a little bit. Okay, so now it's time for lips. My hair is just all kinds of crazy right now, I apologize. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Lip Paint. This is in the shade Unbutton. I'm not gonna bother lining my lips because your girl can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's go right on in. Oh, the tip. I really tickled my lip then. <laughs> why Fenty, why? Is that a bit too nude for these eyes? It might be, you know. I am gonna quickly line my lips. I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner in the shade Los Angeles, which hopefully will give a little bit more definition. We shall see. <laughs> mm, this lip liner is a bit too cool for this lip. Mm. Hmm, looking a little rough. Okay, bear with me. <laughs> I'm gonna go over this with Dose of Colors Old Flame and see if that helps. Okay, I know we're on three lip products at the moment, but I mean, it just looks all kind of wrong with this lip liner, so let's fix it. <laughs> I absolutely love this color, liquid lipstick. Like, look at that. Mm, autumn, yeah. Okay, uh, it's turned into more of like an ombre lip. Just use the dose of colors on the outside, and then I have the Fenty Beauty kind of blended into it. So, not what I intended, but it looks nice with the eyes. So, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Highlight and Contour Kit. It's from the Holiday Collection, and we're gonna go in with the shade, which is just called Contour. <laughs> This cool tone one on the end here. I'm just gonna add a touch, a little, a smidgen of contour. Okay. These powders as well are very pigmented, so you do not need a lot. I'm just using the brush I used for blush just to make sure it's all seamless, you know. I've already used this palette a few times and the colours are so deceiving. Like you look at your brush and you think, oh, there's hardly any pigment on that. And then you put it on your face and you're just like, whoa way too much slow down girl <laughs> but they do blend out pretty easily I feel like that's like helped out a little bit okay i think i'm done fiddling and finishing and just touching everything uh let me sew my hair out and we'll be right back please don't judge the hair your girl is currently bathing bathing in dry shampoo right now <laughs> all right you guys so this is the finished autumnal fall inspired look i hope you guys enjoy it i know it's not super like technical or anything like that but i just really wanted to do a very warm smoky kind of eye that still just represents autumn and i love this look i love the skin as well and the lip actually it's warming up on me get it because warm tones <laughs> uh, i need to go to bed <laughs> a few new people have joined and thank you so much hello how you doing we got 600 people here now what <laughs> i would love you to introduce yourself so if you feel comfortable leave a comment down below and just i don't know leave a fun fact about yourself or something <laughs> if you're this far in the video why not subscribe so you can see all my future content all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that will just tell you when i upload new videos and if you are this far in the video you are a true gem <laughs> i can blab for whales so <laughs> anyway i'm going to love you and leave you i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and i hope you tune in for the next one till then bye guys and i'm taking this and I'm taking it, this came in a BHS, blah, 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 and then work it through, and then work it throughout, fudge cakes. Do not ever cut me off, ever again, okay? It's just rude. Maybelline, Mau, the Mau? <laughs> oh my god. I wanna be... Stop saying that song, please. A few of you got, a few of you, a few of you, blah. lashes off. Mm. Oh. Whew. I feel naked. <laughs>